The Columbia Icefield Parkway is the most beautiful drive in the entire world. Imagine 144 miles through Canada from Jasper to Banff with just the most beautiful backdrop of forests, waterfalls, like the tealest, lightest blue watered lakes, glaciers on every single mountain a mixture of rain, of sun, caves, tunnels, and just so much more. It was the most remarkable five hours of driving that I think we've ever had. We are Nick and Sam, and we've been traveling the world since the beginning of 2023, bringing you along with us. Welcome to Canada. So cool, we saw a bear. <laughs> Is this a painting? This is Canada. Good morning and welcome to day number five here on our Canada road trip. And today we are driving the Icefields Parkway, which connects Jasper to Banff in Canada. But we have a long three, four hour drive today, which might turn into like six or seven hours considering with the stop off and whatnot. But let's get going. Gus, are you ready for another drive? The Icefields Parkway is supposed to be one of the most beautiful and scenic routes in the entire world. It goes from Jasper National Park all the way down to Banff National Park. And right here behind me is the start of it. We are starting in Jasper and we are making our way all the way down the entire parkway, all the way to Banff today. But I'm definitely on the side of the parkway and I'm getting a little nervous, so I'm gonna go back now. <laughs> Oh my god. The antlers were gigantic. And he was like on the side of the road. Like two literally them. two of them on the side of the Huge. road. That's so cool. Another thing I'm really loving about this drive is that on the straightaways, it's like they purposely do the straightaways on the highways where you see a mountain that whole straightaway. And then they only make turns when they have to like turn. It's like they pick the biggest mountains with the most like picturesque scene for that straightaway. It's it's incredible. This is the most beautiful, the most scenic drive I think I've ever been on, and we literally just started. All right, so we had to stop off, even though we're kind of running behind, per usual. We think we see our first glacier, or it could be a waterfall. I don't know if you can see that behind me, but if it's a waterfall, that might be the most epic waterfall of all time. But if it's a glacier, that's pretty cool too, because it's like long and narrow. Never quite sure if it's gonna be raining or if it's gonna be sunny or foggy, but I'm very happy it's raining right now because it's cleaning the, the front <laughs> the window. <laughs> but we are about five minutes away from the skywalk and hopefully it's not raining there. Cross your fingers. Okay, we were gonna go to the skywalk, but honestly, it is so crazy. Dogs aren't really allowed, and although Goose is a trained service dog, it's just like, feels a little awkward. It's so busy, it's starting to rain. So I think we're gonna go check out a lookout point instead. But what I would say is you can book your tickets here. You don't have to book it online, and you have more flexibility if you just book it here. So come to the ticket counter and just buy here instead of buying online. And we stopped at the Athabasca Glacier, which is right behind me. It looks pretty epic. The clouds have kind of come in, so you can't really see it a ton right now, but I mean, that is super cool. The best thing about driving on this road is literally you could park off on the side of the road and just see a mountain with a gigantic glacier. But we're gonna have some lunch because we're very hungry and I think Goose wants a break, but we're gonna enjoy that view for a minute because that's incredible. The 
Athabasca Glacier is one of the most popular things to see in the Columbia ice fields. It is one of the six toes of the Canadian Rockies, but this glacier is six kilometers long and about two and a half square miles big. Isn't that crazy? But you can visit it and you can also visit it by like scheduled tour and it'll take you all through the glacier on these like really cool cars and stuff but it's raining too hard so we're gonna keep moving on down the ice field parkway and try to make our way even further down toward Banff. There's a bear like literally on the side of the road and there was so much traffic everyone was backed up and we were like what's going on and i was like it has to be some kind of animal and it's like a grizzly bear right on the side of the road so cool what <laughs> Oh, uh, he didn't poke his head up, but it's all fun and games till someone gets eaten. Oh. All right, we have made it to the Miss Taya Trailhead, I believe that's how it's pronounced, but it's just right off the side of the road and it's only about a kilometer, which is perfect. Goose in the wild. Everyone, want bears, watch out. I'm not sure if you're familiar with a what a Yankee candle is, but it's just like a, a candle company in the U.S. and they have a scent that comes out during Christmas called like pine or something like that, and it smells exactly like that right now, like this super intense pine smell, and it smells so good. This hike takes you to like the coolest canyon. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> takes you to like the coolest canyon. Wow, wow, you need attention. <laughs> and it's, and like, there is just so much gushing water everywhere. It's actually kind of terrifying. And like, even Goose is a little bit like, I don't want to go on the edge. Thank you, buddy. I don't know if you can see that glacier on top of the mountain behind me, but that's what we were looking at and it's quite spectacular. This is a pretty well known place, but if you're driving down Icefields Parkway, it's absolutely stop there. This is very special, very easy, no matter your age or capabilities, it's a really easy walk and it takes like all of eight minutes to get out of here. This is awesome. Spent about 30 minutes here and we are heading back to the camper to continue on our ice fields parkway drive today it's such a spectacular drive and the rain stopped and the clouds are disappearing and there's no smoke and this day is turning into magic
So we did a quick stop off at we think is called Bow Lake. It's this beautiful blue lake behind me. But I think the best part about this whole drive is that if you have time, just stop off at almost every stop and just take in all this beauty. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. I feel so lucky to be here right now. Like, look how blue that is with that mountain right there. And there's a glacier on it. One last stop on the Columbia Ice Field here in between Jasper National Park and Banff National Park. And look at this view. So we just made it to the end of the Columbia Ice Field Parkway here in Canada, and it was 144 miles of absolute beauty. If you can make your way out to Canada, Definitely go to Jasper first and make sure you take the Columbia Icefield Parkway from Jasper to Banff, Alberta, Canada. It is absolutely worth the journey. We cannot recommend it enough. And we hope that you enjoyed this video as much as we did. We're gonna be in Banff for the next four days and we have so many fun things on the agenda in Banff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, travel around Canada with us and the rest of the world. Like, comment, do all the things. And until next time, we will see you on the go. At 232 kilometers or 100, how many miles? How many miles? At 232 kilometers or 144 miles long. Okay, this route is supposed to be full of glaciers, of, of trails, of... So this trail... We were trying... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, ready, ready? Ready? All right, let's get this Iceland. Oh, Iceland. <laughs> Let's get this ice field parkway party started.